hello everyone welcome to another video on my channel in this video we are going to see how we can export data into microsoft excel file using asp.net core web application so let's get started first open visual studios click create a new project search for asp.net core web app select the template with mvc and c sharp option Press the next button, write the project name and choose the path. Press next, choose the framework and now press create button to create the project. The project has been created. Now let's quickly run it. Ok, it's running fine. So now we will install a package first. Go to solution explorer. Right click on the project and select Manage NuGet Packages. Go to the Browse tab. Search for EP. This is a spreadsheet library for .NET Core and .NET Framework. Press the Install button. Press Apply. Press I Accept. OK, the package has been installed. Now let's create a model. Go to Solution Explorer. Right click on the model folder. Go to Add and select Class. Name the model Product. Now let's quickly add the properties. ID, Name, Description. OK, instead of Category, let's add Price. Save the project. Now open Home Controller. Here we will write code to export data. The method will be HTTP POST public I action result and let's name it export data to Excel. First, we will initialize the product list here. To keep the video short, I will create a list here rather than fetching data from the database. I already have generated some data. Let me paste it here. So here is the product list. Let's collapse the list and make some room. Now we are going to export this data to the Excel file using variable package is equal to new excel package now create another variable worksheet is equal to package dot workbook dot worksheet dot add and now we will write the name of the worksheet let's name it products so we have added the worksheet named products in the workbook. Next we will create a header row. So now worksheet.cells and here we have three options. In the first option we can access the cell by the address. In the second option we can access the cell by row and column index. The third option is used to select multiple cells. Let's try the first option. So the first cell will be A1 and its value will be ID. The next cell will be B1 and it will be name. Next is C1 and it will be description. And the last one is D1 and the value will be price. OK, we have just created the header row. Now we will loop through the product list. So again, worksheet.cells. And this time we will try row and column index method to select the cell. The row of Excel file starts with index 1. So we will use i plus 1 and another plus 1 because we have the first row as header row. 
so it will be i plus 2 and the cell value will be 1 and in the first cell we will have id now in the second cell we will have name and in the third cell we will have description and in the last cell we will have price next we have to download the excel file for that we will create a memory stream object which equals to new memory stream and then we will convert package data to byte array and pass it to memory stream finally we will return the file with the stream appropriate mime type for excel and file name okay the backend code is completed save the project now open the view of the home controller delete this code now create a form here asp action is equal to we will write name of the method we just wrote copy the name paste it here and the method will be post when this form gets submitted our method will be called now we need a button to submit this form now create a button type will be submit class is equal to btn space btn hyphen primary text will be generate excel file okay now the code is complete let's run the application press the button so there is some error that says please set the license property now come back to the code and here at the top we will write excel package dot license context is equal to license context dot non-commercial for personal and learning purpose the library is free but if you are using this library for commercial purpose then you must obtain the commercial license okay let's run the project one more time press the button to generate the excel file let's open the file so the list data is successfully exported to the excel file if you liked the video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. See you next time.